bass resonator here. I have a whale planter. It's going to be hollow in the middle. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get stuff out of there. So when it comes time to unmolding this, I think I'm definitely going to be putting this into some soapy water. But in order for it to be kind of um, the color I want it to be, like a, a whale, I'm going to use this Asphalt Magic from Pigmently. It's an amazing powder. Now I have another whale mold. Um, it's a, a planter as well. And so I, it doesn't say how much this holds. Uh, I will link where I, I uh, got this mold in the description. But um, I don't know how much this mold holds, so I'm going to go by what the other one held. And I'm going to put a little bit, mix up a little bit more. So um, the other one held almost 10 ounces so if I go 11 ounces should be somewhere around 350 350 or so milliliters oh, I guess um, and if I don't mix up enough I can always mix up some more but if I mix up too much I've got a mold right over there that I'm dumping the excess um, stuff into so I'm gonna mix up 11 ounces and mix in this pigmently asphalt magic. I, I, I thought about dusting his head with a little bit of blue, so I can. No, this is a. This is a. Um. This is not the shape of the fins of a blue whale. This looks more like a right whale or um, a gray whale. And because of that, I'm going to use this. Okay, I was going to dust it possibly blue. Don't have a blue whale. I could make it a blue whale, but I'm not going to. Okay, my big wipes over here in case I make any mess. So I'll come back to you as soon as I finish mixing this up. Mixed up that resin, but right before I was started to mix it I had second thoughts and I thought you know I really want a blue whale so I have this laser powder and it's a blue uh, holographic thing and so I colored his forehead I dusted it in there and he's got some serious dimples Boy, you can see the holographic nature in that camera. Um, he's got some serious dimples on his head, so we'll call them dimples and not acne. <laughs> anyway, um, I mixed um, with the Asphalt Magic. I put a couple scoops, um, hefty scoops. Probably almost a teaspoon is what it ended up being. But I, before I mixed up the resin, I put it in there so that while I mixed it, it would get really... I didn't want any lumps of, of resin, of, of, of mica powder coming up to the surface. So I find that by mixing the colors in for that full five minutes that I'm going to be mixing the, the resin. Well, I don't know if it's five minutes. I usually go f 
between five and seven minutes while I'm mixing. So that whole time I was mixing the powder in. So hopefully we don't have any um, hidden surprises. Okay. Now let me see this thing. This um, container that I mixed it in. It says I've got it at 325 milliliters and that's 10 point uh, 10.4 ounces so let's just see how much this this mold holds if I have to mix up more I'd rather do it right now so that what if I don't have the exact color, um, that it'll have a chance to now to get this to work. I'm gonna have to push that tail down. Okay, now. Let's see. Can I get? Can I get a witness? Okay, a big old bubble came up. bubble in the tail that I'd have to fill up that would be not so much fun I feel resin down here but I don't know if it's completely Suck it back in there. Trying to give it a good um, squeegee type effect. Fill back up. the problem with this mold is um, it's bent up like that I hope I got it I don't want to have to fill in holes on this tail trivia question a whale's tail is called oh no I think I'm just gonna be a very little bit off oh <laughs> okay I'm gonna have to mix up about an, an ounce okay I will come back at you shortly. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully I got the right color. Get out into those flippers. Probably could have gone just a little bit more, but you know, I'd rather leave it just like this instead of having to try and find another mold to throw stuff into. So, now it's just a matter of waiting and we'll see what we have. 
if we have a blue whale, a gray whale, a right whale, a humpback whale. Actually, this doesn't have a humpback because the middle of, <laughs> of its back is taken out. So, we'll find out. Okay, we'll see you when this is all cured up. Wait, what happened? I must tell you. Um, unmolding this whale was relatively easy. Let me it's, zoom out a little bit. was relatively easy until I got down to here. And I thought, I'm not even going to fight with it. I don't want to break it off. So I went out and got soap. Some soapy water, put it in there, squished it around. Popped right out. Okay. Set that aside so you can see. This was my original whale that I had. And the mold had a matte texture. But with that um, asphalt magic, it came out pretty shiny, but not glossy. Well... The new one is a shiny mold. And look at the size difference. It's, oh, and you've got to see the holographic, that blue that I put down. It's not really a blue whale, but I really like what I did with that holographic on there. Such a pretty, pretty whale. Now, to figure out something to go in there. And it's got a spot here, because there was, um, when I bought this mold, they had two versions. They had it with a lid, which I really didn't like the lid. It had like mountains. If it would have had the, uh, the back texture with a little knob, that would have been fine, but I didn't like the mountains. So I just bought this, but, you know, I guess I could by the lid or make my own and come up with something to put there if I want to use it as a little container but if I want to use it as a planter or something else anyway very happy with this I'll take some stills of it out in the sun so that you get the sparkly from that asphalt magic as well as this holographic stuff here man that's so cool okay thank you subscribers um, you make this, um, a lot of fun to do. I'm less than 50 away from 1500. Share the message, get the word out. If we get to 1500, I'm going to have to do something special. I don't know what, but, uh, spread the news, share, uh, let people know. And if you're just watching and you never haven't subscribed, subscribed, it's, it's free. There's nothing... Uh, I haven't set up a channel for members only or anything of that sort. So, you know, just sign up for free and, and watch what I do. I'll come back soon with some more. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you for the next one.